What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the Hoverbox WP Bakery WordPress Page Builder plugin element into a simple, fast and effective method. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in order to choose internet on site's favor. So let's get this started. First thing, we're gonna go to our WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna assume that you already have WP Baker with WordPress plugin installed on our site at this point. If not, let me know in the comment section below so I can help you on it. After, go to the page or to the post, is a place you would like to apply your hover box. I'm gonna create a new page. So, review the WordPress left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over pages and click on add new page. Into the upper corner of your, side, of your screen, there is into the middle, a button, a blue button called it WP Bakery Page Builder. We're gonna click on it to open the WordPress Classic Editor. And from here, we're gonna have two buttons, two blue buttons. Backend editor, front end editor. We're gonna explore the front end editor later. It's almost like editing with Elementor or WordPress plugin. And let's keep this started as the backend to make it simple. Now, as soon as you click on backend, there is an option right here. This is an empty page. Select the layer and start building. If you choose blank page, you're gonna have a blank page. The only content that are gonna appear on your page is the content that will apply from this page builder. If you use theme layout, you're gonna be able to see the WordPress theme footer, sidebars, or maybe the menu navigation, the logo type. Okay, so in my case, I'm gonna use theme layout and click on add element button. Now we have an option to the upper right corner of our screen with a search field so we can search for element. In my case, we're going to be searching for hover box or next to section, there is the hover box. Click on it. Let me save change so I can show you the element. I'm going to go to preview the page into the upper right corner of my screen. I can preview a page and here is the result. It's a box that as soon as you hover a mouse over it, it shows its flips and shows another piece of content. Okay. And let's start customizing it. First thing, I'm gonna apply this into two columns. How to do this? When you apply some element on WP Bakery, the element can be moved. But inside the element, there is a row that also can be moved. And next to this row, there is a field to apply columns. I'm gonna use two columns. Now, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the element. And there is three buttons, delete element, clone element, and edit element. We're gonna edit this later. Let me clone, hover mouse, drag and drop to the second column. And now, as you can imagine, we're going to have two elements. Okay. Let's start customizing the first one using the backend editor and the second one using the um, WordPress front end editor. The first thing is the image. I think this image is okay. Let's save change and preview. And here is the hover box. Let's edit it again. Primary title alignment. We can align center, right, left. We can shake, change the shape. Delete it. The alignment, we can do a reverse block. We're gonna reverse the primary and the hover. Let me show you. As you can see, the process is opposite. Let's edit again. Let me remove the reverse option. In the case that I want, you can use a custom font, okay? This is up to you, but you can use a custom font. As soon as you do this, you're gonna have the primary title. And you can change the font size, you can apply in your L, the line H, and the text color. Let me change the text color to white. Let 
you can use team the full font family save change let's review the results we got looks fancy let's keep editing and now we have the option for the hover block the other side of the hover once again we can use custom fonts we can change alignment we can change content enter links in the case that we want change the content bold italic apply some lists you can customize the content in the way that you want or even apply some media okay now we have design options to play with padding margin and border nothing to worry let me up, let me publish this page and let's go to the page so we can reveal it and here is the layout we have okay now if you are editing the page you can see a button to the wordpress toolbar to the top section of our site next to edit page there is an option edit with wp bakery click on it this is gonna load for us the front end editor as you can see right here we can see all of the back end options but we can see the change we made immediately let's hover the mouse click on edit pencil let me apply an image to this other part just like this as soon as i save change here is the result we're gonna use a custom font move to primary title change the font to white use team equals on font save change here is the results we got simple easy and very effective and you can have many hover boxes on your site in the case that you want and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below don't forget to hit the update button to the top upper right corner of our screen to save your chains and that is hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to choose the comment section below in the case they don't have any question don't forget to check out our borderless wordpress plugin to get widgets elements templates and tools to build up your site using elementor gutenberg or enzu wordpress team the best free wordpress team that can install to customize your site and do whatever you want or growth.net platform a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts all for free in addition, for sites.gallery, a CSS gallery or can promote your site, your app, your landing page, your game designs. And finally, in the case that you want to go premium while doing your site, go to visualmodel.com, purchase the Visual Model Pass, and unlock full access to our entire templates library, with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition, for premium blocks, assets, tools, templates, plugins, and many, many more things to create the site of our dreams. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.